what's happening with the movie El Sueño shouldn't surprise me. Big corporations have historically silenced, marginalized, and exploited black and brown artistic voices for profit. But in this day and age, in this moment in history, it's even more unexcusable. El Sueño is the story of two immigrants whose parents are murdered by anti-immigrant extremists. The movie shows how they have to navigate obstacles and temptations while trying to remain eligible for protection under the DREAM Act. We made the movie, signed with a distributor for worldwide release, and then last August, a horrible hate crime took place in the city of El Paso where we filmed the movie. A white nationalist went into a Walmart store and shot 46 people after posting an anti-immigrant manifesto. For us, this tragedy made our film's message even more important. Early this year, the El Sueño DVD appeared in the new releases section of Walmart stores, including the same Walmart where the mass shooting occurred. But instead of the original artwork, which looked like this, the DVD cover looked like this. Instead of two Hispanic people full of hope, love, and determination, they opted for a single Hispanic man holding a rifle with a tank behind him. On the back, they decided to add a bombed out city. This is not a story about immigrants invading America. It's a story about immigrants brought to America as children. The man on the DVD cover that they selected is not even in the movie. The distributors claim that they made this change in order to sell more DVDs, citing a clause in a contract that lets them make changes to the artwork that are reasonably necessary. Let me be clear. If we have to demonize 4 million dreamers and mischaracterize them as immigrant invaders with tanks just to sell DVDs in Walmart, then we don't want to sell DVDs in Walmart. Our message is too important for that. We will not be silenced.